from its embassy in Washington and with its well-connected ambassador to the U.S. Yes, where's the ambassador? The United Arab Emirates has been pushing a campaign to close the Al Jazeera media network. A report on the news site Bloomberg says the embassy has employed a prominent D.C. law firm to meet with congressional staffers, Trump administration officials, journalists and academics to push its case. The law firm, Aiken, Gump, Strauss, Hauer and Feld, a well-known company on Capitol Hill, employed a small lobbying firm to help with its operation. It paid $100,000 to the company Definers Public Affairs. In turn, it acknowledged its role was to provide strategic communication support and guidance in furtherance of the interests of the Embassy of the United Arab Emirates, with an emphasis on strengthening bilateral relations and regional security of the United Arab Emirates, in particular including issues relating to clients' termination of relations with Qatar and accuracy and transparency of Qatar government-owned media. Definers sprang to prominence when it was hired by Facebook as the Senate was investigating the role it played in possible Russian interference in the 2016 election, Definers was investigating individual senators. It was accused of spreading inflammatory information about its critics and its contract with Facebook was terminated. Bloomberg says thousands of Twitter accounts supporting the UAE campaign were suspended. There were also many linked Facebook pages. Many of them pushed the US government to force Al Jazeera to register as a foreign agent that could potentially restrict operations in the US and it would essentially say the company is run by the Qatari government, a claim firmly rejected by Al Jazeera. Al Jazeera launched in 1996 with an Arabic service. In 2006 it became a public utility, a private corporation for the public benefit with an independent board of directors. In June, Eight U.S. lawmakers wrote to the Justice Department asking to investigate whether Al Jazeera should register as a foreign agent. One of the senators was Republican Chuck Grassley from Iowa, who had been contacted by representatives of the UAE. Alan Fisher, Al Jazeera, Washington.